Hi, I'm Mike. I'm often asked by customers, how do I ensure that when I receive a power cable from I squared R that it's going to work when needed? There's a lot of money spent on spare components and power cables are no exception. And when they're needed, they are needed. And if they don't work when required, it can be a catastrophic issue. So there are a number of things we do. First thing we'll do is the mechanical test to make sure that dimensionally everything is accurate. We have an overall length check of 103 inches, spot on. We will do a thread check to make sure that it's going to have proper interconnection with the furnace coil. Threads are good. Then we will record this digitally. It'll stay with the job traveler and be forwarded to the job file. Now that the mechanical and dimensional testing is completed, we'll check it for resistance. And to check it for resistance, we have to use a DRLO. It's a digital resistance low ohmmeter, which measures in one millionth of an ohm. To do this, we basically attach the two contact leads. We calibrate the DRLO. We set at 10 amps. We uh, activate the device. It reads 74 micro ohms. We check to make sure that that is the designed rating. It's confirmed, we sign off on it for accountability, and we move on to the next test. Now we come to the final portion of our testing procedures. Chuck, our technician, is testing the cable for flow and pressure by adjusting the operating pressure of the power cable. We try to simulate the application that it's used in. We measure the flow at that particular pressure, and then we do a static pressure test. The static pressure test is where we pump it up to 60 pounds per square inch, we look for pressure drop on the gauge, and then we'll do the old-fashioned soap and water test to make sure that there are no bubbles, no bubbles, no leaks. Now that we've completed the final testing, at this point, all that information is recorded. It's digitally filed. The serial number is attached to the power cable for traceability. Then the cable is clean, polished, and then boxed. A lot of effort can go into the post-test to ensure that your power cable is accurate and ready to go when needed. Our advice is to confirm that your current supplier is indeed checking the cables for accuracy. If they do that, you'll have a cable that's ready to go when needed and eliminate a lot of problems and headaches into the future.